I'm having a really hard time not watching this. Fucking A. Gears. Devil Gears. Alright, so probability of success, uh, pretty friggin' low, not gonna lie. So I ran into a few snags as I was doing this. Uh, yeah, there was actually more than a few snags. When I stuck this on the fixture plate, uh, it still wasn't low enough to hit that 45 degree angle for a 45 degree bevel gear. This was sticking up too high. Couldn't go any lower because it would be hitting into the uh, carriage. So now we're going to have to bring it up way like this and start to cut from down here. That we can do. So, yeah, I kind of didn't want to put all that pressure, like it's all Loctited in there. So I'm a little bit on the concerned side that that's, well, it's, it's pretty amazing stuff. Like I, it's already in there pretty good. Anyways, no further ado, I'm going to try to bolt this onto the, uh, fixture plate which I had to modify because I was in the friggin way too given all the variables of, of this whole endeavor I'm kind of I am a little doubtful that this is going to work out as I had planned but won't know, won't know until we try so let's give her a shot at least all right so we're basically set up here so the idea here is is uh, we got it all centered out you know, we uh, took the half the diameter of this and half the diameter of the cutter that I made. Uh, marked our center. And now we got to take it for the first cut. It's about a quarter of the tooth thickness. Uh, and, I, and if I measure it right, which I think I did, it's kind of you measure it right where the pitch angle starts. And that's your tooth thickness, I think. So I hope it is, because that's what I measured. Anyways, so I got to move it over, offset it. 31 thousandths. Which is a quarter of the tooth thickness. Uh, which one here? It's probably already off that much. <laughs> uh, let's go this way. This is actually a pretty heavy setup for this unit here. I don't know. Well, it's kind of, that's a lot of weight on there. So I'm hoping that uh, maybe it'll help stabilize it. I don't know. But uh, it's relatively okay. Anyways, uh, tooth depth on the back side here. We got that marked off too, so we're gonna have to move that in. Shit, 100 and hold on one second here. 165,000, so that's quite a bit. But, like, you know, this is the first time I've ever cut any kind of gear whatsoever, so bear with me here. We're at uh, 38. 100 and those teeth could be a little wallered out too so who knows that cutter should suffice for depth well it's right on a zero mark so that's cool all right so now we shouldn't have to touch anything to be able to lock the carriage in place, lock the cross slide in place, and the only thing we're going to move now is the indexer and the compound up top here. Whew, I'm freaking nervous, guys. I, I wish I could get a better shot for you, but like honestly, there's <laughs> I'm, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do, go about doing that. Hmm. All right. The carriage cam is back in action. It's probably going to be shaky as fuck, though. But at least it's out of the way. Okay. So, we're all locked in here. Lock the gib on the compound or cross, cross slide. So we don't get any un... 
toward movement. Carriage is locked. Holy fuck. I'm scared, guys. I'm super freaking scared. Holy fuck. Okay, everything's locked in here. Should be. That's locked in. That's good. That's good. Check, check, triple check. Voice ain't gonna pop out, I don't think. That should be in there really good. So now it should just be a matter of bringing this up until it starts cutting and taking it really, really, really freaking easy. Okay, well here goes nothing. I would like turning that a little faster, but unfortunately it's uh Oh, you know what? I'm going to save the glass on for this shit. Got a couple teeth cut on film. Maybe. <laughs> oh, you're getting my freaking hand again. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, my hand's not in the way. Alright, take two. Already starting off so splendidly here. Ooh, get some oil on that sucker. Yeah, I kind of need that faster, I'm thinking. Fuck. <laughs> oh, this is crazy shit. Wow. I'm not saying nothing. I'll shut up now. This is going to be a bit wider by the time we're done here. Like, I'm going to have to cock it back that way. Right? Or the other way. One way or the other. <laughs> and we're going to have to offset it at some point. I don't really want to take the cutter out. That seems to be doing the job. I can't really tell what it looks like in there. Well, we'll keep going. Worst case scenario, i got to make a new gear blank, I guess. Of course, they picked the most comp, you know. Maybe you should have tried a more complicated gear to cut. <laughs> Oop, easy. Well, mind you, that spread. 
adds up quite a bit, so maybe it is good. I don't know. I've never done this before, so it's all new to me. a little funny looking but uh <laughs> for all intents and purposes that's a tooth <laughs> that is certainly a tooth i don't know what that's doing it doesn't look broken or anything i i think i could almost clean that up some more and take that edge back it's rounding that tooth off pretty good i guess that's kind of a good thing to get your pitch angle but uh that might be a little too much pitch angle i don't know it's not like I can measure that shit. All right, so I don't know. Let's rotate it one more time. Let's see how see how she happens here. Uh, this could take an extremely long time, and I'm gonna get some earplugs because that shit's loud. Backwards thread sounded pretty good. Yeah, it's a little fast for this four jaw. It doesn't really like that high speed. It shakes the lathe quite a bit. Let's see here. Well, that is not looking too fucking shabby, guys. Like it's it's gonna need lots of cleanup. Obviously, it's like a whole. It's not a real cutter. It's just kind of. But. You know, I can't believe we made it this far. <laughs> so I'm gonna fucking keep going, guys. Uh, I need some. I don't know. Music isn't gonna do it. Cause I can't hear shit. So, oh, I definitely need a sip of coffee. I'm gonna keep cutting this, and when I uh, go to change change the orientation or uh, on the last tooth there, that'll be the big ones right there. The last tooth. <laughs> Cross your fingers. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, it's going to take me a while. See you in a long while. A bit. Yeah. All right, so I said I'd be back for the uh, moment of tooth. Uh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't just say that. Oh, it looks pretty good. Now keep in mind, I actually reground this tool because it was kind of bottoming out on the tops of these guys. So three teeth in, I actually ground it back a little bit. So they are going to look a wee bit different, but uh, the depth wise and for the next pass should, should fix that up somewhat. Uh, I'm going to bring it down some more. So when she's not hitting on startup, and this bottom gip screw on this freaking compound, man. Like, look at that. <laughs> Every time you got to pretty much tighten that sucker back up again. So, time for some locking gip screws. At some point, maybe I'll make some if I ever get some threading machine going on here. All right, let's do this. Well, we're up real good. It's gonna be shaky. Sorry. 
This uh, bench is not the greatest, but we'll make do as usual. Okay, hang on a sec. I'm gonna try to make you guys a little bit better, less shakier video here. Holy shit, that's bad. There we go. Let's try that. All right, now just out of curiosity, we're going to do another one more. I don't know why this index is stiffening up. Something stiffening up in there. Now comes the tricky bit. Get some of that crap out of there so you can see what we're doing. And I'm going to bring this all the way up just so I can see where it's hitting on the small diameter, or the smallest part of the diameter on this thing. So be the inside. Oh, I can't bring it out though, can I? That's okay. I'll go like that. Because we don't really want to make the, the inside diameter any wider in the tooth. But we do want to bring it out wider back here. Because when you got uh, two diameters for gear, they can't be just straight beveled. Straight, uh, they can't just be straight. They have to be uh, more of a... More of a triangle shape, I guess, or conical, well, conical gears, I guess. I'm not really the best uh, person to describe them. But if you check it out in, uh, I think, page 892 and up, of the old uh, bevel gear thing, and, well, in my book, anyway, the machinery handbook, it kind of gives you a really good description of them. Okay, uh, okay, so we went... West last time, and we got to go east. <laughs> okay. So what we got to do, we got to offset this cutter. 
about one half of the tooth thickness and like that varies uh, oop, that varies towards you know everyone different gears I believe we got them in 60 thou or 60 you what did I say 62 thousandths See gonna move. It's gonna be stuck. I don't know what's gonna be. Fifty. Sixty-two. We also got to index it. Half an index mark. I hope. <laughs> and that should give us, should give us our tooth that we're looking for. I hope I did that freaking right. Judging by that, that looks pretty damn close. I think we're gonna try that out. We'll cut it, cut a couple teeth, and uh, holy crap, cross our fingers, I guess. It looks like we might actually leave a little bit of a shit in the middle there because the tooth cutter is a little bit small, but that actually looks a little better. And I could very well have this totally freaking whale to watch too. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> that actually looks better right there. Yep. I actually took it another five thou over. <clears throat> Like I said, I don't want to, I don't want it to uh, take too much of the front one off, or front of the tooth off, mostly just on the back side here. We make a couple cuts, and make sure everything's locked down there. Here goes everything, I guess. Oop, bring that back down. Okay. Let's hope that I don't break the cutter or something. So we locked all forces on there. All right, so that looks pretty good so far. Slight discrepancy on the bottom there, but that's not the working depth anyway. Well, I'm going to keep going, I guess. It's hard to really see the whole tooth, but from here it looks pretty damn good. So I'll just keep doing it in the sides of those uh, teeth. I might actually hit this with the stone a little bit. Get that edge a little bit, a uh, little more, a little sharper. And uh, hopefully, in about an hour, I should have a gear that is uh, functional.
Well, I guess let's pull her out of there and see how she looks. All right, well, smoke them if you got them. Holy crap, that looks like a bevel gear. <laughs> Holy crap. Ugh. Looks a little, you know, a little bit rough, but hot damn. I think that shit actually worked, man. But now you see what I mean about uh, having to offset it. Because if the teeth are just straight up, uh, just going straight, then uh, like the gears won't mesh properly. So uh, as you go, like you still need you you'll need to have a deeper tooth in the back than you will in the front, as well as a wider uh, gap because of the just because of the you know the inside diameter and the outside diameter. So yeah, that'll take some cleanup for sure. But uh, I don't know. I want to stick it in the gearbox and see how she uh, see how she fares. And there should still be enough meat in there that I'll be able to cut those uh, little teeth in there that I gotta go in there too yet. You know, something similar to that. So that should, I think that's gonna work. You know, these aren't high speed gears. If they were, well, I would have to just order some real ones, right? Like, but these are probably the slowest gears on this lathe, so, you know. So I I think they'll they'll they should suffice. Oh yeah, look at those cleaning up pretty nice there. Let's get all the burrs and crap out of there. They they look a little bit funny, but come on, bear with me here. I do. You see my setup? <laughs> it's uh, pretty pathetic. It ain't stupid if it works, guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I really need to bust out the oxygen for this. Stink up my garage though for sure. Some light in here. Whew. Stinky. All right. Well, I'm gonna clean this up, and then when I do, we'll we'll stick her into the uh, what's my jig jig a boo there. All right, folks, so, you know, for all intents and purposes, that sucker fits perfectly. That's, uh, this is actually supposed to spin freely. It's binding up a little bit inside there somewhere. Probably just on the key stock, probably on this damn thing. But like it's not binding up in the gear teeth, that's for sure. Could be just a little bit of Loctite left in there too, for all I know. But as far as I can tell, that is nothing wrong with that gear at all. I could even potentially uh, put a freaking set screw in this one and, and fire it up right now. That's actually a lot nicer than the original gears. <laughs> After I cleaned it up a little bit. Okay, I can't get it out of here without taking this one off. Oop. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna fall through the cracks. Right on this guy. Right there. That goes out there. Don't lose any washers. Remember, I don't know if you saw my other video, this thing wouldn't come out before because it was, had no teeth on it, but now it does. Oh, it did. Yeah. There's our freaking bevel gear. My first gear that I've ever cut in my entire freaking life. <laughs> and it turned out not too bad i could have probably chosen maybe a, a normal spur gear or something yeah i don't know i'm kind of a turn it up to 11 kind of guy well i'm very pleased how that turned out 
I still got uh, one more to go yet. And it's pretty much the same deal. It's going to end up looking like that. So at least now I know what I'm doing. Well, you know, well, not technically I don't. I know what I'm doing. But I don't, you know. <laughs> there's two ways of doing things. There's the right way, and then there's my way. <laughs> ah. Right on, folks. Well, thanks for watching. This has been... This is kind of the accumulation of... Of this of my whole channel is pretty much up to this point I still got to make a shift collar that uh, will shift into there that's gonna be another uh, well I probably won't I don't know I probably won't do six knots I'll probably do four just because it'll be well unless I can I don't know if I got an end mill that small though and that's gonna be tricky very tricky but yeah that's a uh, she, she fits really good. <laughs> I cannot complain. That's like, you know, there's frick, hardly even any freaking backlash in there. That's awesome. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.